Thank you, Sanjay, for such lovely words. It's indeed a pleasure to be standing here and speaking to you all. My journey, or should I say, my twist with Agra speakers happened quite accidentally. It started in 2017 when I met uh, the ambassador for India, Mr. Koka Prasad. It was never a planned thing. I was actually a trainer. I was an entrepreneur. And most important, I was trying to evolve and identify myself as to who am I or what am I. During this period, I heard from Coca that he runs this club for adults, basically grown-ups, experienced, who find this platform to develop their public speaking skills. I said, yeah, sure, why not? Let me join. Let me see how does it work. So that's the first meeting I attended. And should I say, uh, rest, rest is history. history. From that initiation to 2017, 18, is when I started walking into this club with my children. Children in the sense, not my own children, but I entered the club with three other children who followed me. And we gave the grown-ups a run for their money. And Coca finally coming and telling me, Vajanti, this is not done. You cannot have children in the grown-ups club. I said, Coca, that is very bad. If grown-ups can't take children, that is their problem. I still remember um, once I had a meeting with Mike, Ben Pang, Chris, all these people, and they're asking, Vajanti, last year we discussed, should the youth be given a special contest and should they not compete with adults? I said, why not? They should compete with the grown-ups. I know my children can give them a run for their money. And today, yes, I am proud. I do have a lot of speakers who are in the finals and gave run for their money. Yes. And saying that, I am really, really proud. Today, I wanted to speak about my club, which I'm very, very proud about. It is not because I have done it alone. It's with my children. Without them, we wouldn't have been having this wonderful journey today. So just a sneak peek into my club, how it has evolved over a period of time. I know it's my handicap. I'm going to try sharing my slides. I hope I do justice to it. Uh, let me see how to do that. I am basically, as I said, you know, I need to figure out things. I hope you all can see it. Is the screen visible? Yes, yes uh, hopefully. Yes. So that is me uh, taking the mantle from Coca Prasad saying that, yes, now you see my juniors. And that's the club that I started with juniors and a couple of grown ups coming into the club and having a sneak peek as to what we are doing to our first gathering in four months' time. Look at the amount of children. And the rule for my club was the children have to come by themselves. The first meeting, you get your parents. Second and third meeting, the children have to attend by themselves. No parents allowed. And I do used to have a guard. You know, the youngest member in the club, the one who's holding one of the banners, he used to stand at the door and say, parents are not allowed. It's only children. So, yes, that is how we took off. And then we had debates. We grew up in classrooms. And there were times when we had no place to host our meeting. So we had it even in at my house, in midst with my cats and a lot of fun. We occupied our bed, our hall to, you know, to the garage. It was like completely filled with children. It was fun. And then started the evolving of the club over a period of time, especially summers. Parents used to say, Vajanti, conduct the club every day. I said, oh, the children are going to run away if I conduct every day. It's not a school. It is some place that they should enjoy. So that gave rise to our education sessions. We went on trips. 
to learn. We went to an ice cream factory. We went to a class you know, coaching centers. We went to computer centers. We went to VEPZs, name it, whatever was possible in Vizag. We did go on those trips. And the smile speaks volumes. So this is a snippet into what we have done. From then came our first anniversary. From a club of six members, we grew to a whooping 45 for our first anniversary. And meeting only twice in a month. This is a game changer because after this, we couldn't accommodate all the children to have their roles and give do justice or help them in their speaking skills. We moved into regular Sunday sessions. And this is what we did. We used to call the parents. We used to have interactions with them. And I tell you, this is the only place wherein we spoke everything positive. It was not a parent teacher meet regularly wherein they say, your son is so bad. Your daughter is so bad. And the parent also saying, yes, I agree. My son and daughter are bad. Right or not? You all love that. Uh, and parents really enjoy when they show something wrong. And my club is actually opposite of that. We say, this is your child. Look how well he's speaking. See how lovely he is. Look at his confidence. I had children who were introverts. To where parents come and tell me, Vajanti, please stop him. He's talking. You, he's, you know, and now the complaint from the school is, your son has become talkative. I said, why do you take it as a complaint? It's a positive thing. Nurture him. He will do wonders. So imagine, I had people who won elocutions, debates in their schools from an introvert. Now from there, if I move, we had the COVID hitting us. And that is the evolution time for us from Google Meets to Zoom sessions, trying to find out what to do. We came up with these posters, or we call it as team-based meetings. And you know what was the fun in all those? In the lockdown, we had movie nights. Can you beat it? Children having movie nights. Yes, we screened Harry Potter. We had Poppy, uh, Mr. Popper, Penguins. Name it, we used to have voting for movies. Yes, we had movie nights. And we celebrated friendship days. We mm -hmm. celebrated festivals online. Who said you know, lockdown was a barrier for us? We enjoyed all this. Now, from there, we didn't stop. Actually, actually, this was a platform, or should we say, Zoom opened up barriers, or I should say, COVID was positive for my club. I love the COVID period because there were no boundaries. I had education sessions from America, Singapore, Qatar, Middle East. Lots of lots of sessions. That's when Mike became a permanent fixture in my club. I am sure he can vouch for it. How fun it is. Here the children grab the mic. There is no point of trying to mute them. We had authors. I met wonderful authors, were speakers, and we really had a fun time with them. And that friendship continues till to date. So that is the time when we had uh, group meetings, it's not only just the reading club, it was also the speaking club. Both together, we had these sessions. So here is a snippet of all the speakers who made it to our sessions. And the best part was we had one of the speakers as the chief editor for Amar Chitra Kada. He was so good that he sponsored books for my children. And they had really enjoyed that session with Savio Mascaranis. And they were now, you know, I have caricature artists in my club too. From there, we moved to theme-based meetings. Means you need to dress up. So we had a chef's day. We had a Harry Potter day. We had magic. And most important, we had suspense. How can a meeting be incomplete without the famous Sherlock Holmes? 
and people did search for them online. Look at us all dressed up and decked up. We also had Fred joining in one of the sessions. These are beautiful pictures or should we say memories. And that was the end of COVID and our first get together or should we celeb say we celebrated our third anniversary with a bang and our first get together amid COVID. You can see all the smiles in the children's faces because we all were meeting after a long, long, long time. So yes, this is what we had done. And this is my final member list of 75 members across India. So whoever could make it to the meeting in Vizag, we all met and we had them via Zoom. And today, I should say, our journey did not stop. From a mere one club of 75 members, now we are four clubs associated with two colleges and now with an association wherein we run clubs for the youth. So this is the growth of Agara Speakers Youth Clubs. I am sure people are there who love this journey of youth clubs. So you want to join? This is the time. Please join Agra Speakers because this is a wonderful platform. It is custom made for you. The best thing what I like is my children have the freedom to evolve their own speaking style. It doesn't tailor make it and tell you, you have to do this. Otherwise, your speech is not right. You have to have this. They have given us the broad guidelines and it is so flexible that you can tailor make it for your own self. That gives them the confidence to evolve. So this is our journey of Vichaka Orator Juniors. And today, the entire conference of four days is being conducted by these young adults. The youngest member being 10 years. And should I say the grown-up or semi-grown-up? Is me. <laughs> when I'm with them, I forget my age. Yes, I do enjoy being with them. So it's like one family. Midnight, one o'clock, I call them. I tell the parents, oh, your parents are going to hate me for that. But yes, we had a lovely journey. Thank you, Agra, for making it happen. So with this, I hand it over to the Masters of Ceremony, Sanjay Pratish.